Hey guys, hey guys, Ace for here. Welcome to Minecraft Story Mode on the Android. It could also be for iOS. And I uh, just wanted to play this. I play the female. I play the male. I play the. Just play as this guy. As you can see, timer is on the right hand side. We are going to be playing Order of the Stone. I want to give this game a tryout. Uh, I like uh, the game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. It's really Nothing good. built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. <clears throat> that was quite an intro. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. Chicken That's easy. Zombies. I'll take the uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? Hey. Oh, what? what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little <laughs> weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? No, boy. He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Reuben's my best friend. I yeah. thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't <laughs> want to give people one reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. You hear that? <laughs> oh no, Ruben. <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was uh, <laughs> you Axel, up. What's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. He looks 
That's awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Oh, it's a little glitchy. Um, okay. Shears definitely taking these. They'll take some sheep. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? <laughs> Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Nah, boy. Nerd. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. Yeah. We really should change the name. Nah, boy. I can like stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Uh, anything else, Reuben? Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. Not bad, fuck. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. Uh, okay, anything else? Give my face. Ooh, I did the chest. Mm. Is my head facing Steel? Too? Shabby? Probably still take some of that boy. Uh, anything else? Can I switch between them? Is that it? I just got out of here. Let's go, Ruben! Yeah. That's everything. Uh. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior, him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It's amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. <laughs> guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. <laughs> Only as well. And this year we've got Ruben with oh. us. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. To win. No, no, I'm with that. I'm the tiger. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking of that's all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Oh, zombie. Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Yeah. We're not. Bring it in. On three. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No. Just, just shut up, thing. man. Forget it. Uh, team on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Team. Prepare. Yeah. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun. Did I tap the screen? Mix? 
<laughs> I had a tiger here. Yeah, oh no, no, I'm free. Oh crap, this is much harder. Oh boys. Oh, come on, punch them roses. Yeah, get on to punching. Yeah. Two, three. Yes, get that wood. Um. Yes, he brought them shears for a reason. Yeah, punch them wood. Yeah. Fuck yeah. T. Boyos, I think that's where we're gonna end it off today. Uh, if you if you love that, please give it a like. Overall, if you want to see it for more, and please, if you do, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. All right, ace out.